this. Yeah, Tim, I mean, they're frustrated after receiving an email days ago. This all stems back for work that they did three months ago. In the worst storm of the year, icy roads and fallen trees closed schools. Many couldn't drive or walk on bad roads. And thousands were without power for more than a week, though some worked prepping Portland Public Schools to reopen. I was scared, not uh, to be very honest. 250 custodians like McKenna McVicker, and they received overtime and inclement weather pay. We had to come to work. We had to come to work and um, check on the buildings, make sure there was no damages. Now they say the district wants some of the money back, saying they mistakenly overpaid custodians. The district is asking some workers for almost $500, according to the union SEIU, which feels like a punch in the face. McVicker says her January paycheck was confusing. We had a pay stub that was very vague. It didn't give us anything, none of our hours, how we were getting paid. So custodians say they asked district officials for more transparency. They never got it, though they believe they were overpaid based on old contract requirements, which required inclement weather pay. The ice storm happened during bargaining when custodians were not working under a contract. We risk our livelihoods, our cars, our everything to just come here and check on PPS school buildings for damages so we can have students come to school. And months later, on April 12th, McVicker received this email from the district alerting her Portland public overpaid her by $96. And they gave me three options to pay it back. Another custodian received this email saying he was overpaid 174 bucks. I mean, they're looking at me for $192. Jim DRC removed yeah, snow so. and ice from his school. Now he and others have to readjust their budgets to make up for the district air. And that's really extremely hard for people that live paycheck to paycheck. We're all just pissed off that, that, that wow, we got to pay back for their mistake, for their error. None of the custodians and we spoke with has so repaid the money. In a statement, Portland Public says they regret the error and understand the overpayment inadvertently created stress on employees. They're working to fairly resolve this issue though they didn't answer our question of how much money was overpaid or how the mistake happened. Still, DRC says the email may change his decision next time there's a severe winter storm. What happens the next time there's a snowstorm? How many of us do you think are going to want to go into our buildings? And now there's three things custodians say they want after this incident. First, they want to be able to keep that money from January. Second, they want a breakdown of how that January paycheck was initially calculated. And third, they want Portland Public Schools to put measures in place to ensure something like this never happens again. Guys? All right. Thanks a lot, Thomas. We'll see what happens.